Hey, busy people, welcome back to the channel. I'm coming at you with another video in the 365 Days of Fish Keeping series. If you know what that means, that means for the entirety of 2022, I am posting one video a day focusing on a fish species, a plant species, a food I like, anything fish related. These videos are going to be quick little snapshots for whatever the subject is of the day. We're talking fish and plants. We're going to give you a little, you know, a little care guide, a little what's about the fish, what's about the plant. If we're talking about food or equipment, we're going to do the same thing. And I'm also going to give everything a rating from 1 to 10 based on my personal preference and likes and dislikes of whatever we're talking about. And as always, thank you all so much for the support in all the videos. But if you have not yet, remember to smash that sub button, y'all. And let's get into the video. For this video, I want to focus on an extreme aquatics fish food. This time, we're going to be taking a look at their cichlid peewee food here, which is a 1.5 millimeter sinking, slowly sinking pellet. The food contains krill meal, shrimp meal, squid meal, and spirulina, along with several other ingredients. I will put the image on the screen here for you all now so you can read along with me. So we're looking at about 38% crude protein, 5% crude fat, 6% crude fiber, 0.9% phosphorus, and 12% moisture, along with 11% ash. It's a great food for a lot of your cichlids that can be found in the hobby, but they don't get super huge. So things like Mbunas are going to love this food. I've been feeding it to my African Mbunas now for a few months, and they, these things, they gobble it up faster than I can put it into the tank. So I do know that they like it, and that is a good thing. When you're feeding fish food, so they don't like it, what's the point of eating it? So, it being a 1.5 millimeter pellet, it's perfect size for those fish that are about two inches or bigger. So until they get that big, I feed them an extreme spirulina flake food, which I'll be doing another video on at some point soon. And you can get both of those at keepfishkeeping.com. Link in the description and card on the screen. You can also feed this to your non cichlids as the ingredients will be just fine for things in community tanks. So I will put a small amount of this in my community tanks during feedings so my corridors and two spot catfish can eat them. I will also give this to my beta fish, both the splendid versions and the wild versions will eat this food, along with putting some others in my tanks for the plecos. So while it might be tailored towards cichlids and it has the cichlids on the container, this food has a wide range of things that can be fed too. So you can feed it for your community tanks. You can feed it for your slightly bigger tanks. You could probably give it to, you know, your rams and other things. If you want to try and feed it to smaller fish, put it in a pepper mill or break it up a little bit and boom, you've got another way you could feed your fish. So given the large amount of things that this can be given to, I'm going to give the extreme peewee cichlid or extreme cichlid peewee a 7.5 out of 10 for its versatility in the fish that eat it and that those fish that I feed it to seem to be enjoying it and I haven't noticed any negative effects because you know sometimes you feed a new food and your fish get a little wonky I have not noticed that with any of the extreme foods that I have fed so as always thank you so much for watching and the continued support on videos if you've not already please remember to leave a comment down below let me know if you tried out this food if you want to if you like it and of course remember to hit that like button and if you're new here and enjoying what you see Hit that sub button too. And until next time, I will see you guys later. <laughs>